peanut butter bacon burger. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Erin and for today's video, I am only trying the newest fast food items for 24 hours. So first stop is Dunkin'. So I was looking through their menu and I saw that they have some of their Valentine's Day stuff out already, but I wanna save that for a different video. So I got their new pancake wake up wrap. So it comes with syrup and then it is, I can get it out of the bag. This is what it looks like. So it's their normal wake up wrap, but with a pancake instead of a tortilla shell, which sounded so good. It reminded me of like a McGriddle from McDonald's. Um, and it smells very good. I was not expecting it to come with syrup. So I'm excited about that. And then I got a white, Wait, what is this called? A white toasted hazelnut coffee. They have it hot or iced, but it is freezing outside. We like literally just had a blizzard. So hot coffee it is for today, but I'm so hungry. So let's try this pancake first. Pancake, well, pancake wake up wrap. <laughs> let's try this wake up wrap first. That looks so good. Wow. It definitely needs the syrup. It's not sweet at all by itself. Pretty tasty though. <laughs> I would say I do prefer the McGriddle over this. McGriddles are like so like perfect on their own. Like that pancake is already so like syrupy and sweet and just like so tasty. Where this you have to definitely dip it in the syrup to have that similar flavor. But it is really good. I'm definitely excited that they have this on their menu because I love me a good pancake wrap in the morning. Okay, let's try the coffee. Oh, that is hot. Hmm. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would ever get this again. Um... It doesn't really have much flavor to it. I mean, it definitely tastes like a flavored coffee, but I don't know. I think their other ones are just a lot better. Yeah, overall, I'd probably rate breakfast like a 6 out of 10. The pancake wake up... The pancake... Oh my gosh. The pancake wake up wrap is pretty good, but like I said, I definitely prefer a McGriddle over it. And the coffee just really isn't anything special. But before I wrap up my breakfast, don't forget about the giveaway that I have going on right now. So if you are new here, in order to enter the giveaway, you must be subscribed, you must have your post notifications turned on, and you need to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I have them both linked below. And then once you do that, comment manifest or any version of that word down below. 
2024 is the year of manifesting and putting our dreams into reality. So once you do all of that, you will be entered into the giveaway for a chance to win $50. So good luck and I will see you all at lunch. Okay, I am back and stop number two is Starbucks. So I got the chicken and maple butter and egg sandwich. So that's what this looks like. I must say though, the chicken does not look crispy at all. Hopefully it is because I love me some good crispy chicken. And then I got the potato and chive bake. So I really wanted to get the vanilla bean custard Danish because I really love their cheese Danish, but they were all out. So I figured I'll get this instead. Um, it smells like a loaded baked potato. So hopefully that's what it tastes like because that's probably really good then. And then lastly, I got the hazelnut oat milk shake and espresso. So I know I already got like hazelnut from Duncan, but I really didn't like that one. So I guess we're kind of comparing the two Starbucks and Duncan going head to head. <laughs> I mean, not really, but let's try this and see if we like it better than Duncan's or not as much. Okay, I really only taste like oat milk <laughs> with like a slight like nutty flavor, which I know hazelnut obviously is nutty, but I feel like the oat milk kind of masks that like hazelnut flavor and just makes it like very like just nutty, if that makes sense. Okay, I do like this. I don't know if I would ever get it again, but like drinking this with my lunch today, I feel like like this is good. Like I can drink this and enjoy this. It's not like the one that I got from Dunkin', I really didn't really drink much because I really didn't like it very much, but I would definitely say this is better than that one, but very different as well. Okay. Let's try these. They are very like eggy. Um, I was thinking it'd be more like a baked potato, but that egg flavor really is like more prominent than anything else. Mm. These are okay. I definitely prefer the um, egg bites. The roasted red pepper egg white bites are like my absolute favorite. So a fun fact, I actually worked at Starbucks for five years when I was younger. I um, started working there senior year of high school, like September of senior year. And then I worked there all the way through college, after college, all the way up until I started my interpreting job. I really loved it for a while, but by the time I quit, I was ready to go. It was cool though when I worked there because they had just opened up the deaf Starbucks in Washington, D.C. And at that time, I was already going through the interpreting training program at my, like at college. So I already knew how to sign. Um, so they did a lot of like stuff for the deaf community. You had to like, you qualify for this like little pin on your apron. It was called an I sign pin. So if somebody that was deaf came in, which we actually had a lot of deaf customers, um, they would know that like 
I signed and you had to, um, what was it? Like you had to send in a video of you signing specific things so that they like knew if you could actually sign or you were just pretending to. Um, so yeah, that was cool. But like I said, by the time I quit, like I hated it. <laughs> I think just like sometimes too much of something is just like, like I was just there for too long, if that makes sense. I was there for five years and at that time, leading up to like me quitting like I just kind of outgrew it if that makes sense like I just didn't want to be there anymore I didn't enjoy it anymore and I was just really ready to start my interpreting career and really nothing was stopping me because I had graduated from school like I had passed the test that I needed to pass I just was nervous to take that leap but I got to a point where like I just mentally could not take it anymore or work there anymore which I guess was good because that really pushed me to start my career but anyway enough about me let's try this chicken sandwich you definitely can smell that maple um you can see it a little bit, but I'm just like nervous to try this chicken. I know that it's cooked because everything comes frozen and they just like heat it up. So it's definitely like pre-cooked, but it's just like very pale for crispy chicken. Yeah, it tastes like I thought it would. Um, it honestly reminds me of like a Tyson chicken sandwich, like those freezer ones that was put in a microwave. <laughs> like, you know how that chicken's supposed to be like cooked in a toaster oven or an oven so it gets like crispy? yeah um this I don't think is worth the money at all it was like six dollars I think yeah go to like McDonald's or Popeye's or KFC or like <laughs> Anywhere other than Starbucks if you're in the mood for a chicken sandwich because it's just really not it. Dang, Starbucks. Are you letting me down with this one? <laughs> Rating time. Um, all in all, I'd probably rate Starbucks as a whole probably like a 5 out of 10, honestly. Because... Truthfully, it's just so expensive for food that really is not anything crazy. I mean, it's all pre-frozen food. They heat up in an oven and that's really what it tastes like. I mean, some of their food is like bomb, don't get me wrong, but really these aren't. And for $18, I feel like I should be blown away. This drink is pretty good though. Um, let me see. I probably would get this again if I was in that <clears throat> in the mood for something very like nutty. If you love that flavor, you would love this. If you don't love that nuttiness, probably get something else. I would say Starbucks new items. Not a fail, not a total success though. I feel like you could do much better than that. <laughs> Okay, the final stop of the day is Sonic. So I'm sure you guys already know what I got, but it just seemed so wild to me. I had to try it. So I got their new peanut butter bacon burger. 
doesn't really look very peanut buttery, but I'm sure when I take a bite, I will taste it. And then I got the peanut butter bacon milkshake. It does look very good, but it is like dripping out the sides. He did say not to pick it up by the lid. So I guess they probably like overfilled it. Um, hopefully this tastes good. It is very cold out as I've said like 8 million times, but I couldn't not get this. This Sonic is over 40 minutes from me. I don't have any Sonic like closer. So I figured if I'm gonna make the drive all the way up here, I might as well try it all. And then lastly, I got their dragon fruit refresher with Red Bull because y'all know how I feel about Red Bull. <laughs> I love Red Bull probably more than anything. It is like such an addiction of mine. But when I saw they had these on their menu, I just had to try it. <laughs> Peanut butter bacon burger. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's probably good, but like whoever thought to put peanut butter on a burger like that just is so wild to me i'm like afraid to bite into it <laughs> all right let's take a bite Okay, that bite, I didn't taste any peanut butter at all. I'm so confused by this. I see the peanut butter, but I don't taste it, like, at all. Truthfully, I think that everything just, like, complements each other so nicely that... It doesn't have this like overpowering peanut butter flavor to it, if that makes sense. I actually really like it. <laughs> Is it a wild food combination? Absolutely. Does it taste good? Yeah. Is my mind just playing like tricks on me? Like, is it just maybe because I'm hungry that it just is making me like think that this is delicious? Or is this actually like a pretty bomb burger? Does peanut butter belong on a burger? Honestly, I think it does. <laughs> Y'all are probably like judging me mad hard right now but I enjoy it I don't think that it tastes like a peanut butter bacon burger I think that it just tastes like a burger with all these different like flavors and they all complement each other really nicely and you have that cheesiness and the crunchiness and the saltiness and just all together it's just like pretty good <laughs> all right I do need something to wash that down though so we're gonna try our refresher Can we just take a moment to appreciate how pretty she is? <laughs> Ooh. That is delicious. Dang, I wish Sonic was closer to me. Maybe it's a good thing though, because I'd probably come here all the time. This is very good though. Okay, peanut butter bacon milkshake. My only dilemma is he did not give me a straw for it. He gave me a spoon, but I cannot take that lid off. Do you see that? If I take that lid off, I'm not even able to try it. It's just gonna be covered. I'm gonna be covered in a melted, in a melted milkshake. Okay. All 
All right. Okay, well, I see why he gave me the spoon. Oh, that works. I should have done that from the get-go. Duh. Guys, okay, sometimes I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's try it. Okay, so the milkshake itself without the bacon has, I think really it's just a peanut butter milkshake. And I really like the flavor of that. But the chunks of bacon, although I feel like they taste good, it kind of weirds me out. Okay, well, on that note, I am going to wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. Don't forget about the giveaway if you haven't participated already. And I will see you guys in the next one.